Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect a new Epson or, or existing Epson EcoTank printer to Wi-Fi slash basically just set it up. Um, I'm going to reset it up for the first time. Um, this is an Epson EcoTank ET2860, but all EcoTanks pretty much work the same. Yours might be white and tall and have a little screen or it could look different, but they're all the same. They all have the same buttons and so on and so forth. So I'm going to show you how to connect it to a Wi-Fi and get it started. I'll be honest with you, there really isn't much information out there about how to do this. Um, and it is confusing. There's multiple Epson apps and the actual guide, the user guide that comes with the printer doesn't really explain this very well. So I'm going to take you through this. Um, I made a few mistakes on my way, so you don't have to make them. So I'm going to teach you how it's done. So first things first, you are going to need a phone. You can do this on iPhone or Android. You can also do this on PC, but I have another video about that. So first things first, you are going to need to download the Epson Smart Panel app. Now, I made the mistake and you can see it says open. I saw this app. I saw, you know, 90,000 4.6 star rating reviews. And I thought, well, this must be the printer app. But this is the incorrect app. The actual app you want for your EcoTank uh, series printers is the Epson Smart Panel app. Now, I'm going to open that. And when you first open it, you're going to be presented with the following. And um, when I click set up new product, I always find it actually can't find my printer. And I believe this is because when you first set it up, in order for it to find your printer, you need to first create a new Wi-Fi connection. So how do you do that? Well, it's very simple. If you haven't done this before, or even if you have done this and you would like to reset it, what you would do is you'd find the Wi-Fi button here and you're going to click and hold it for five seconds until you see the lights begin to blink and alternate between on these two on the side here. So it should start to do that. There we go. So now it's blinking. We're going to click the um, create new Wi-Fi connection option. Now, when you download the app, you're going to be presented with the option to um, allow your phone to search for devices on the local network and Bluetooth connections. You need to accept that for this to work. If you haven't, then go into settings and you'll be able to um, enable these things. So I went on. It's cool. It's kind of like done through a chat thing. So it's pretty simple. They walk you through it. I just selected my printer. It came up immediately because it's on the pairing mode. And um, yeah, so these Wi-Fi connections are required. So let's proceed to Wi-Fi connections. This is going to show me how it's done. We'll click next. And essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them my Wi-Fi password and um, I'm going to put it on the app and then it's going to use, I'm going to select my Wi-Fi and it's going to use my password that I set in there to actually um, get the printer going. Um, so you can see it has set my uh, password. We're going to click next. So we're going to set the administrator's password. Now, again, um, the easiest way to actually find your administrator's password is to look inside the printer itself. In this Ecotech series, it's written right there, but your one might be written slightly further in. So I did just did it off camera, but I just connected. I just It asked me for the administrator's password. If you haven't changed it, it's the one written in there, and I just entered it on the app. Um, so, um, yeah, so... What we're now going to do is connect this to my home Wi-Fi. Now, my home Wi-Fi's SSID is called Y, <laughs> and it knows that because it's used checking what my phone's connected to. So I'm going to click yes. And um, in this next step, I'm going to enter my Wi-Fi password. And then, you know, it says where the Wi-Fi password may be, so on and so forth. I've got my password. And I'm going to just enter this quickly. Okay, so I just entered my Wi-Fi password. I'm just going to cover it up for now. Um, and it can take up to two and a half minutes to actually connect to the Wi-Fi. And yeah, it's preparing. And we'll I will get back to you when that is complete. Um, actually, whilst that loads, I want to just mention that, um, like I said earlier, you won't really actually be able to use many of the functions and features on this printer until uh, this step is completed. So it's very important that... Um, 
you connect your printer to Wi-Fi using the official app. And um, remember, it's the Epson Smart Panel app. So yeah, let's wait for my Wi-Fi to set up. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes and the app is telling me this now. Your Wi-Fi is set up and complete. Um, that is that. So let's go. Uh, you can see it. It's a good password. Um, so that's everything. And um, yeah, so there you go. My printer is set up and um, you can now decide how you want the app to look. I'm going to use the tiles because some old school graphics design. And yeah, that's everything. So thank you very much. Um, now I've got it on the app. You can see I can pretty much use all the functions that I would like to. So thank you very much and have a nice day. Check my channel out for any other videos. Please like, comment and subscribe.